Cincinnati's Riverfront Stadium was a sunny setting for a game they call the Championship of Ohio. But a Bengal Browns game goes deeper than just a mythical title. The same man created both these teams, and the Paul Brown influence permeates all from organization to uniform colors. There is also the matter of a divisional title to be contested, and so the Bengals went right to their game breaker, number 85, Isaac Curtis. The spectacular effort was wasted, however, on a Bengal fumble, and the rest of the first half turned into a headhunting defensive standoff. In the face of hard-hitting give-and-take, Cincinnati cracked first as number 26 Charles Davis fumbled inside the Bengal 10. Brown's ball, and with less than a minute remaining in the first half, number 15 Mike Phipps stood up to the safety blitz and hit Milt Lorne for the game's first score. The Bengals were left with time for just one more play, and 50 yards away. Number 14, Ken Anderson, went right back to his main man. Isaac Curtis was ruled out on the one, and not a second too soon. With one tick remaining, the Bengals faced an all-or-nothing proposition. Number 42, Booby Clark muscled in, and the game, which had been scoreless 38 seconds before, was now tied 7-7. But only Cincinnati's first half flurry carried over. The Bengal defense set the pace as number 70, Ken Carpenter, dropped Phipps in the Cleveland end zone for a safety. The defense gave Cincinnati a lead, and then Ken Anderson went back to a nearly sure thing. Once again, Isaac Curtis beat the Browns, this time for six. Next, tight end Bob Trumpy, number 84, worked free over the middle for another score. The most spectacular performance in Cincinnati's second half extravaganza was turned in by Lightning Lamar Parrish, number 20, a defensive back and punt returner extraordinaire. With a 33-7 blowout of the Browns, Cincinnati served notice to the rest of the league. The championship of Ohio just may be the first step to the championship of the world.